We are checking out some entitled influencers who let the tiniest amount of fame go to their head. You guys know the drill. Feel free to sit on the floor with me as we go through this video together because I am traveling and I am sitting on the floor. I work for a company that books luxury travel. Think $20,000 packages. Who in this world is out there affording that? A woman contacted us wanting a free trip in exchange for posting it on her blog. She proudly proclaimed that she had 800 followers. They probably had a good laugh in the office that day. <laughs> they probably forwarded that email or called everyone over to their desk to read it. I'm picturing like a scene in a movie. A guy from my hometown who was sort of a skis ball helped some elderly folks escape a fire. The act itself was commendable and he deserved the recognition he received in local media. He went viral for a week or two, but uh, five plus years after the fact, he was still using that as a way to try to get out of traffic tickets or being cut off at local bars after refusing to pay tabs. My brother encountered his Instagram recently and his bio says something like, unspoken hero, DM me for detail. You did something incredible. 100% deserve the recognition for that at the time. I get it. However, we don't gotta milk it. DM me for details. I'll send you the news link. <sighs> oh boy. Someone I know through a mutual friend was a streamer. Occasionally he would hop on discord with us to talk with said mutual friend. But being a streamer. He was pretty much always streaming whenever he's on slash gaming. He would talk to his stream while sitting in our discord, not even muting himself. He literally just talked over other people's conversations and some of us were rightfully like WTF and his response was always, I quote, I can't help it guys. I'm a streamer. I can't leave them hanging. His stream literally had like five to 10 viewers max at any given time. And he'd been streaming for years. <laughs> How many streamers did they have? That was my main question that I was going to ask and not enough, not enough streamers to be that annoying. <laughs> A friend of mine was in a video at a car meet that went viral back in 2011 or 2012. He said like eight words in total. You couldn't even see him, but you could hear him. He would go around telling people that he was famous for being in a viral YouTube video. I was like, if you have to announce you are famous, you might not be as famous as you think, broski. <laughs> I have not heard the word broski in so long. In high school, a lot of the guys would always say that and they'd say brewski for beer. Hey, you want a brewski? Hey, you were chilling with the broski. Oh, I hated it. I worked with a guy and every time he met someone new, he had to tell them he was an actor. He had a YouTube channel with 47 subscribers and called himself something embarrassing for a man his age. Oh, <laughs> Bless his heart. As a fellow YouTuber and actor, you know, I, I feel for you. A new local TV anchor woman was trying to pay her dinner at a restaurant with a check. Who? This has got to be an old story. <laughs> no one uses checks anymore. Restaurant doesn't take checks. It's posted all over the front door she walked through. She stands up and starts screaming at the waitress, do you know who I am? The waitress says, no, and walks off to get her manager. She didn't get to pay with a check. Two weeks later, the same anchor woman comes into the department store I worked at. She has a mound of clothes in her arms and throws them on the counter and asks what kind of discount she gets for being a local celebrity. <laughs> My coworker tells her such thing does not exist. She pushes the pile of clothes off of the counter and tells my coworker that she needs to learn how to treat the upper class better. She's not our local TV anchor woman anymore. No one wants a Karen as their TV news anchor. Like you need one of those members of the community that you go out there and it's just like joy everywhere. It's like they're like farting, you know, fairy dust. There's a kid I work with who's, I believe, seven years old and he's a YouTube influencer. By that, I mean the kid's parents made a YouTube channel that follows the same format as stuff like Ryan's World. 
got lucky with one video that got around 10,000 views. All of their others barely have a hundred. And it immediately went to their heads. The kid's dad refers to himself as his manager and answers questions on the kid's behalf. They hand out business cards with all their social media info and they even got the kid's name legally changed to the name he uses on YouTube. <gasps> the worst part is that the kid seems indifferent at best to all of this. It's 100% his parents pushing it on him. If you have not Googled Ryan's world net worth and what his channel makes, <laughs> This gives you a good idea as to why these parents are probably trying to make something happen here. Uh, they saw the money and they're like, hey, we got a cute kid. I would like that money. This girl I went to school with was an aspiring actress. She was in some low quality YouTube short film and she basically was trying to convince everyone that she was famous and that all these companies wanted her because of it. She even had these headshots that she would bring into class to show everyone and nobody cared. She really thought she was better than everyone and even acted like a celebrity. Like she would come in with sunglasses and basically treat everyone as if they shouldn't even be breathing the same air as her. It was honestly sad. I mean, honestly, she's taking fake it till you make it to a whole other level. <laughs> as an aspiring actress at my age, but when, especially when I was younger, anytime I did any kind of project, it was so exciting. So of course I told my friends about it, um, but, but not all that, not all that. Before TikTok, we had Vine. I like Vine, I miss Vine. A girl I was friends with posted a few videos on there and they blew up. I mean, really blew up. She was interviewed by a TV station at one point and newspapers done sketches for the local radio station and for Scotland. That was pretty shocking because we don't normally do well in this sort of thing. She quit her manager job in a supermarket, convinced that she was going to be famous from Vine. This was when being an influencer or content creator was relatively new. She cut everyone out of her life that was dragging her down. That included me me, someone who had been friends with her for around seven years at that point. Long story short, she failed. She now works in a nightclub at a bar. She had three months of fame before she realized no one actually gives a crap about the videos and she couldn't come up with anything funny to write and star in after that. It's exciting, um, but going viral really doesn't mean much anymore. Who cares? I remember this guy about a decade ago, forgot his name, who did some comedy videos, but mostly made super niche metal music that was themed around some heavy-handed fantasy story he wrote. Balrogs are fighting the Brom theme war against the mellow hum igrolites type shit. Okay. Anyways, he had like 10K subs and then one day uploaded a video basically yelling at his fans and blaming them for not making him a famous rock star. Totally missing the forest for the trees, saying things like, you all just want my comedy videos, but none of you buy my music, F you, over and over again on a video before shutting down his channel. Brother, you gotta listen to the people. If people are clicking on the comedy videos, keep doing comedy. If they're not interested in the music, hey, reevaluate or just do it for yourself. There is this TikToker who drags Tinder profiles and this one profile was of a man bragging about being an actor and telling everyone to go Google him. He was a background actor, which is a fine job, but literally anyone can do it, fact. Well, this cocky mm -hmm, made a TikTok account to go in the comments and talk about how awesome he was and continue to tell people to Google him. He paid $3,000 plus yearly fees to join SAG AFTRA. Do you mean AFTRA? Despite it offering no benefit to his work, he did it just to brag. His profile said he works in SAG in SAG. I cannot imagine in this lifetime telling somebody, oh, just Google me. Please don't. Please don't Google me. Back in the day when I played, I almost said wow. And then my brain was like, wait, World of Warcraft? There was a guy on my server who had a tiny amount of name recognition. He was good at the game and spent a lot of time and energy organizing things. People on the server knew him and would ask for his help or show, or show him deference in order to get his attention on things. One day he put together an optional raid and at the end of the raid a particularly rare item dropped. 
Instead of an open roll, which was the standard at the time, he simply gave the item to his friend. When people complained, he said something like, I'm so-and-so, I'm the most important raid leader on this server. You are all lucky to even be here right now, so shut up and deal with it. Well, screenshots were taken and links were sent around, dude ended up transferring off the server less than a week later because nobody would give him the time of day. Yes, if there's anything I have learned about being on YouTube is that the internet is forever. You may post something for 30 seconds, but you better know that someone else has already screenshotted that or screen recorded and now it will live on. People had some tiny bit of fame and it went to their heads. I'm getting out of here, you guys. Stay classy out there and stay sassy. Bye.